Bryophyta are non-vascular plants, such as mosses, and they're found in moist or damp places because they need easy access to water for living and reproducing. In order for fertilization to occur, the bryophytes depend on water to carry their male gametes over to their female gametes. They're also generally short because they don't have fortified tissue for support. Shown here is the life cycle of a moss, and if you look at the diagram here and the picture, you can see that the sporophyte generation of the moss is on the upper half, and the lower half is the gametophyte generation, so clearly the sporophyte and gametophyte generations live together. In fact, the sporophyte generation actually depends on the gametophyte generation for nutrients, because only the gametophyte generation can photosynthesize. So that means bryophytes are gametophyte dominant, spending most of their lives as multicellular haploid organisms. So in this life cycle, we start with spores, which both undergo mitosis to produce separate male and female gametophytes. These undergo mitosis again to produce their respective male gametes and their female gametes, which join together undergo fertilization, produce a zygote, which undergoes mitosis to produce our sporophyte generation, which is attached to the gametophyte generation. And then these sporophytes once again undergo meiosis to produce spores, and the process starts over again.